Stories! Stories! Where are you, stories? Has anyone seen a story? I'm looking for a good story. So, the most important part of journalism is good stories, right? It doesn't matter what camera you shoot on, or how good the image quality is, or the audio. If the story sucks and nobody's interested, what's the point? Of course, the good old-fashioned way to find good stories is on the ground, in communities, listening to people's stories. But with COVID-19, of course, that's incredibly difficult. While many of us are self-isolated, we're stuck at home, but we've still got to find good stories. And that's where we use the internet. So the first tool that I like to use is CrowdTangle. It's owned by Facebook. And what it does is it shows which posts on Facebook and Instagram are outperforming other posts. So you can look at your competitive set, you can look at other publishers, and you can say, hey, this post is performing way better than their normal piece of video. And that's quite useful in us understanding what's making the internet dance. So I can say, I wanna look specifically around recycling stories, because I'm interested in recycling. Or maybe I want to look for stories that are around black press and black organizations that are doing interesting content. So I find that CrowdTangle is a really useful way to get a snapshot of what's happening on Facebook and Instagram. The second tool that I like to use online to find amazing stories is Reddit. Reddit is described as the front page of the internet. It is really where online culture starts. Reddit works on subreddits, which is basically like the old school internet where you have forums around particular subject matters and that's where people are discussing topics. I follow, for example, positive news because we're interested in constructive and solutions-based storytelling. And if I make my way down this list, I'll find some stories that might be relevant to my audience. The third tool that I like to use is called TweetDeck. Now, when you traditionally use Twitter, you have one feed with all of your tweets coming through. TweetDeck allows you to have multiple feeds at the same time. So in this feed, I'm gonna say, I'm specifically looking for content relevant to, let's say, Nairobi. And every tweet that features the word Nairobi will now come into this feed. And this just helps me keep on top of my beat, my topic. If I'm covering sports in Nairobi and I create a platform for sports in Nairobi, I know every time somebody's tweeted using that word, and that helps me stay on top of things. The fourth tool I wanna share with you guys is a part of Facebook that most people don't even check out, and that is the live area. Why this is interesting is it shows what's happening around the world right now. And this just helps me get a sense of what people are talking about, which live content is doing well, what's happening. I can see that there's a funeral service taking place in South Africa right now, a major protest in Washington, DC. Maybe I'll send out a crew to go and cover those. Maybe I'll curate online. And of course, we all love Instagram. And to find good stories on Instagram, I, I think it's really important to search on hashtags. So for example, if I am covering climate change, I am gonna search the hashtag climate change on Instagram. The beauty of, of Instagram is that you can actually follow a hashtag. So I can say, hey, I'm gonna follow this hashtag and now my feed will be populated with people that are using the climate change hashtag. Of course, you can also watch the stories format and get a sense of what's happening. And that's why I find Instagram is an incredibly powerful place through hashtags to find amazing stories on a daily basis. Finally, I mean, you can't underestimate Google. Google Trends is really useful because it shows you in real time what the internet is talking about, what people are searching is so important to find out what they're interested in and what information they're looking for. Here is the global trends that are coming up that people are searching. They're searching for COVID-19 prevention. That's always a big one. Uh, they're searching for these kinds of topics. Let's have a look what people are searching for in Namibia around COVID. So we can see the level of interest that there's been around that subject matter. We can see specifically where those searches are coming in from, which is really, really interesting. We can see related topics to COVID that people in Namibia are searching. So guys, Google Trends is your friend. Use it. It is an incredibly powerful way to find out what people are interested in. I also find the simplest tool on Google, and this is the bonus, bonus, bonus point, is frequently asked questions. So if I am in Nigeria and I'm doing a story on COVID, I might search Nigeria, COVID, and I can see all the questions that people are searching. This gives you an idea of what people are interested in. Is Nigeria a developing country, a third world country? Uh, a democracy, a rich country. These are the stories that people around the world are asking about Nigeria. They want answers and maybe your video could be that response. 
you have got amazing tools online to find unique and incredible stories. So now it's about you being able to find these amazing stories and tell them in video format.